Hey, Red Company, today we have a new theory exploring the truth about our original four characters. Are the original four characters dead on Moon? Let's get right into it. When we finish the Big Bang Easter egg on Moon, there are three possible options we can deduce about our characters' choices. The first is after the 115 rockets hit, they are stuck on Moon and die. We hear Rick Toffin have quotes saying how he misses both Tank, Nikolai, and Takio in transit. Yeah, blah, blah, vodka, vodka, blah, blah. Ah, I think I'm starting to miss that drunk. You know, I think I'm starting to miss the other three. Even a stupid American or drunken Russian could do better than that. The way Rick Toffin's quotes talk, it really makes us believe that they are gone. He would not be referring to them in a past tense if he could still manipulate them in some way. There's also the decades gap Maxis refers to. Between the ending of Moon and the start of Transit, at least 10 to 30 years have passed. You are not one of those foul creatures. Excellent. I have been searching for decades. Listen now. Maxis and Richtofen have been battling out for control of the Spires. It wouldn't make sense that Richtofen would have killed them off so they wouldn't help Maxis. They filed his orders and doomed the Earth Moon, so why wouldn't they do it again? Now, our second choice is our characters use the teleporter and teleport back to Earth. There they fight the endless hordes at Area 51 until they die. I will also point out that the Area 51 is on Earth. Please check out my video linked on screen, bam, here, for all the information you need to prove that it is for now. Yet another sad demise to our characters, which will leave fans empty. Many fans have grown so attached to our original crew, it's hard to let go of them. How could they ever lose? Well, as far as we know, they are only human. Or are they? Rick Dolphin tests all the remaining characters, including Samantha, according to the Call of the Dead radios. Their minds have been warped, and they are part of a few who can wield Element 115 and not be destroyed. Dr. Do you know matters of course? I wonder what he might think of the experiment. Uh, I still have not had any luck reprogramming any of the live specimens. We have a note in Doris that talks about this feat. This could possibly lead us into our Vrilia Hins having our characters be related to the Ancients in some way. That leads us to a third option. Our characters use the teleporter, but do not teleport anywhere in Richtofen's control. Some unknown event must allow for them to pass through the rift and end up in another dimension, alive. Only one piece of audio is key to this theory and occurs during the Maxis Endgame. The process has begun! Now I control the ether's energy! I can at last reach Agatha! Ah, I tried so hard to warn you. Don't go! Once the gateway is open, I will finally be reunited with my dearest Samantha. Hello? Are you forgetting something? Even if your wretched daughter is still alive, she has my body! Oh, what about Samantha? Your actions condemn my daughter's very soul to eternal damnation! Even if you do not care for her, surely you wish to return to your own body? Not really, no. Rick Toffin points out that Samantha still has his body, if she is still alive. How could he not know? This endgame has so many head-scratching questions. Why does Maxis say, once the gateway is open, I will be united with my dearest Samantha? She's no longer in the Ather or Agatha. Instead, she's stuck in Richtofen's body on Moon or in another location. Naturally, our heroes could not survive on Moon for 30 years. All their basic human needs cannot be met there. The most likely connection, based on what is available to us right now, is that the original crew escaped Moon. Using the teleporter and the rift in space-time, they could have entered another dimension, possibly Argatha. We have in-game examples of places away from Richtofen's control. Mob of the Dead and Origins, for instance. What's interesting about this idea is the fact that Argatha could be a future map. No longer just a myth or some magical dimension, maybe there's a physical three-dimensional world where our original crew is dealing with the Rift. Think about what it would be like to have a map with Sam, Richtofen, and Maxis all fighting for control of this dimension. All the different timelines bleeding over, leading to the finale where our original characters mend the Rift. We could have our Moon characters finish the zombie storyline. Now that's just a silly zombie fantasy, but plausible in our universe. What I've said before still makes sense with the game facts. In summary, Treyarch has set up our original characters to die on Moon through many hints. The only possibility of them living is through the buried Max endgame quotes. This alone makes a strong enough case for our characters to be alive. 
Once again, only time will tell what is in store. Thank you for watching, and I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a rating and a comment on this video because a lot of time is put into creating these. I appreciate all the support you have given me and can't be more grateful. If you want a crash course in the whole zombie storyline, check out my video annotated on screen explaining the entire zombie storyline. Took a lot of work. Please check it out. If you enjoyed Call of Duty Zombies, please subscribe for more. I post frequently and will continue for the next couple of years thanks to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I will see you in the next video. Bye.